my YouTube channel. This is the look I'm going to do for you today. It's kind of inspired by how Kylie Jenner had her makeup for her 18th birthday, but this is a slightly more coppery sort of gold, gold smoky eye that I've gone for where she had a bit more of a classic gold because I just really wanted to use this pigment. Um, yeah, so please keep watching if you want to recreate this. I do the classic sellotape trick. I've forgotten how much I love it. It works so well. Um, if you want to check out any of my Instagram or website, I will put them all below. And please feel free to check out my other videos. But thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoy. So I first prepped my skin with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturiser. Primed with my Natural Radiance Primer from MAC and I'm going to go in with my Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick in the shade Bisque. Now this is an expensive foundation but I just love the coverage. I love the finish because it's nice and dewy and it's actually the perfect fake tan shade for me. I'm applying it here with a Stilla brush. Now, Kylie Jenner has amazing eyebrows, so I am just filling mine in nice and naturally and trying to not make them too defined. So they're quite similar to hers. And priming my eyes with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. Now, taking a piece of sellotape, probably about the length of your pinky finger, just line it up in the bottom corner where you would want a wing of eyeliner to go. And going in with a sculpting powder from MAC, this is actually in the shade Sculpt. I normally use this for contouring, but it's a really good crease shade, and it blends really nicely. I'm blending here with a 221 brush, which is similar to a 217, but it's just a bit slimmer. Next, taking the shade Swiss Chocolate from MAC on a small smudger brush. I'm just taking it a third along my lash line and a third into my crease and then going to blend it again. This is an amazing little smudger brush. I think it's only £3, so I will put the information below where you can buy it. Now taking any black eyeshadow, I'm using Carbon from MAC, take it about halfway along your lash line and then as long out as where you would want the, your winged eyeliner to go. Then taking a, the sellotape off, the best feeling ever. Now going with my lid shade, this is Amber Lights from MAC. So I will go over with another pigment later, but some of you might prefer this shade and would rather just stick to this one, which is more similar to what Kylie had on her birthday. And just to give it a nice kind of shimmer, this is a Sicily eyeshadow, I think in the shade Gold. and just blending it together. Now this is the pigment I've used, this is Copper Sparkle by MAC. I think it's about £17. You get a huge pot of it so it lasts for ages. I've sprayed my 239 brush with Fix Plus just so that the pigment doesn't fall all down my face and just kind of really brings out the pigment of the eyeshadow. I love it, such an amazing colour. And then just blending it again, I think I've applied a bit more eyeshadow again just to make it a little bit darker. Now taking my Inglot Gel Eyeliner. So I am just doing quite a thin line across my lash line. And now the amazing thing about the sellotape trick is that it just perfectly maps out where you need to do the wing of the eyeliner. And this is very similar to what Kylie had on her birthday. She didn't have really thick eyeliner or anything. It was quite thin with like a little wing on the end.
Right, next just curling my lashes. And then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. I'm doing this just before applying my eyelashes. So this is the Demi Wispies from Ardell, which you can buy in a multi-pack. I like to put the lash on in the centre of my eye first and then put down each corner. And I use the Duo Dark Tone Glue, which dries black instead of clear. Now taking my NARS concealer in the shade Vanilla, as Kylie has a pretty bright light concealer, especially on her birthday. And just blending this in with a damp beauty blender and just be careful where you've done the winged owl eyeshadow and eyeliner because you don't want to go over that and ruin it. And I'm just kind of pressing it all over my skin, just to give my skin a really airbrush finish. Now taking this Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade, I think it's Hazelnut 7.5, using the same Stila brush, I'm just mapping out where I want my contour to go. Taking it all around my forehead, in my temples, and along my jawbone. So I'm just giving this really nice, warm, all over bronzy, tanned look. And blending it all together with a damp beauty blender again. Now using the opposite end of the Stila brush, I'm just gonna contour my nose. Still using the same foundation stick. And then blending it again with a beauty blender. When you do contour your nose, you want to be looking dead into a mirror, so it's equal on each side. Now this is my Tom Ford Illuminating Pen in the shade Citrine, or Citrine. Putting in the cupid's bow, the edge of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and then just above the arches of my brows. Now you can blend this with your finger, I'm just using my beauty, beauty blender again, excuse me. Now, I like to set all the contour shades by going over with the same contour powder that I used in my eyeshadow. Just to set where I've put my contour. Now, using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder with the Beauty Blender again, I'm just taking away where there's any excess shine, specifically on my forehead, my nose, under my eyes. And taking the Laura Mercier highlighter. This is the shade Peach Mosaic. Just using that along my cheekbone. Now taking the shade Swiss Chocolate, I'm just blending it under my eye with the 239 brush. Now taking any angled or small brush, I'm just using carbon or any black eyeshadow just to connect the top liner just to the bottom one, just on the outer corner. Now take any black coal pencil, I'm using Feline again by MAC. Just run it along your waterline. Now I'm just curling my lashes again because Kylie, like all the Kardashians, have very curly out there lashes using the Charlotte Tilbury mascara again. Applying some more to my bottom lashes. Now, the highlighter I'm using in the inner corner of my eye is rice paper. So this one is less bold, it's less frosty, so it's a bit more subtle and a bit more natural. Now, priming my lips with MAC Prep and Prime Lip, which I use before every lipstick. And now I'm going in with the shade Boldly Bare, Lip Liner by MAC. And in true Kylie Jenner style, I'm overlining my lips a bit. Not going crazy with it, just basically drawing over my natural lip line. Now, taking the shade Honey Love from my palette, which is a MAC lipstick, 
I'm just applying that all over my lips. And it's a matte lipstick as well, so it's a very Kylie Jenner lip. I'm applying this with a Real Techniques lip brush. Now just going over with a little bit of bronzer at the end, just to give that really all over bronzy warm look. So this is the finished look. I really hope you like it, and if so please like, share it, the usual YouTube stuff. I will put all my Instagram and website below if you want to see any of my other work, as I said at the beginning. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon.